She was raised in a family of black resilience and legacy. Her destiny to be a pioneer of solidarity, a woman of purpose, passed the torch of service from her physician and philanthropist father, but she was an artist. And although she spent much time making portraits and drawings, her dreams were of great scale, but not too big to picture Mrs. Lydon Moore Merrick. Cherished time at the Durham Colored Library, reading to her friend John and other blind patrons, and they called it The Corner. And that corner and that library became a meeting place, a space where black blind Dermites could gather and create, and she saw a need there, put her resources together and planted a seed there, and what a bloom of beauty that became. The Negro Braille magazine of national acclaim, Mrs. Merrick, self-published for 20 years, did not fear the road less traveled, took on the challenge of uncharted waters, and she sailed, gave Braille to a community often underserved, serving her people with the beauty of dotted words in their hands, danced across this publication with pride, dedicating her life's work to the needs of the blind, and we honor her commitment to illuminate the world for the black sightless citizen she be a queen not confined or conformed, but courageous enough to care and dare champion for change.